Sadness or distress is a fundamental emotional attribute of human beings. It's the unpleasant feeling when you lose the hope you've spent your whole life building due to a natural disaster. The feeling of betrayal when a close friend of 10 years deceives you or the pain of losing a loved one to a serious illness. And as the ancients used to say, being human, no one can avoid a time of sadness and pain. Each emotion carries a message, but what's important is not just where they originate from, but also how they affect us. Emotional states are an integral part of human life. They're an expression of vitality, a sign that we are still perceiving and reacting to the world around us. However, the story doesn't end there. Sometimes, distress can become a challenge to the mind, causing us to lose confidence and the ability to cope with life. But is there a way to confront this distressing emotion strongly? And how do we escape the sinking feeling in the sea of anxiety and sadness? Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, brings forth a strong encouragement. Act as if nothing bothers you. Acting as though nothing is troubling you. Perhaps that's one of the greatest strengths that Stoic philosophy offers. Our ability to control and act autonomously, not being swept away by the currents of emotions. On the journey to find peace and mental strength, we will together explore 18 principles inspired by the philosopher Epictetus that will help you understand more about the power of Stoic philosophy and how to apply it to daily life. Don't miss any useful principles and advice that we'll discover in today's video. Because just one of these 18 principles will provide you with profound insights into how the lessons from Stoic philosophy can change our lives. Principle 1. Bet on simplicity. Living a simple and frugal life may seem contradictory in a world where we have the opportunity to indulge in all kinds of luxuries. However, the reason behind this choice is much simpler and more rational than we might imagine. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, seeking simplicity not only helps us eliminate unnecessary worries, but also opens the door to true freedom and happiness. It is a process of rediscovering the value of seemingly humble things, yet containing immense power in shaping our lives and ourselves. Simplicity helps us realize that we don't always need to pursue extravagance or novelty to feel satisfied and happy. In fact, in the simplest moments, such as a meaningful conversation with friends, a warm family meal, or even a peaceful time with a good book, we can find profound peace and joy that no material possessions can replace. This not only makes us more confident and independent in our way of living, but also encourages us to invest in relationships and activities that provide long-term value. The simplicity in lifestyle also prompts us to become more conscious in evaluating what truly matters in our lives. As we gradually eliminate extravagant and unnecessary elements, we begin to focus on nurturing and developing ourselves thereby creating a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Simplicity is not deprivation. It is a smart choice that helps us live fully in each moment 
and love sincerely. Principle 2. Prepare to fail because it is the only way to progress. Principle number 2. This is an invitation for us to confront what we all fear facing. That is a failure. However, in Stoic philosophy, failure, while seemingly daunting, is an important stepping stone towards success. It is within the ashes of failures that the seeds of wisdom and resilience are sown. Imagine each failure not as a barrier, but as a bridge bringing you closer to your goals. Learn to embrace your shortcomings, learn from them, and then let go. The fear of failure often holds us back, not because we cannot overcome obstacles, but because we hesitate to face them. But remember that I am not encouraging you to seek out failure, what I want you to aim for is learning to accept it when it comes as a natural part of the journey towards excellence. In this way, we nurture a spirit of resilience, one that is not discouraged by setbacks, but is emboldened by the challenge of getting up once more. Preparing for failure is preparing for progress, and each stumble is an invitation to stand taller, stand firmer. Turn every obstacle into an opportunity to deepen determination and refine one's character. Principle 3. Never forget that your reactions forge your destiny. Not always control what happens around us, but what we can control is how we react to them Epictetus once emphasized that your reaction shapes your destiny. Faced with difficulties, you can choose to react with anger, despair, want or acceptance, and find ways to overcome them. This choice not only affects your current mood and thoughts, but also determines the direction of your future. For example, when a business person fails in a project, at that moment, they have two options. One is to see it as the final stop and lose all hope for the future. The other is to view everything through the lens of learning and opportunity. Deciding to see failure as a stepping stone they begin to analyze mistakes and draw valuable lessons not only about business but also about themselves. They restructure their strategy and develop better management skills and problem-solving abilities. This not only helps them bounce back stronger after failure but also equips them with the necessary tools to succeed brilliantly in future projects. Ultimately, this positive and determined reaction not only helps them overcome challenges, but also lays a solid foundation for a successful future. This demonstrates that failure is an important stepping stone on the journey to success. We cannot control everything that happens but we have the right to choose our reaction. Remember, each reaction is a step on the path to shaping your destiny. That's why Principle 3 is not just a reminder of your inner power, but also profound advice on living a meaningful and happy life. Principle 4. Control of your life. Epictetus once pointed out that each of us possesses various keys. Some keys unlock doors to joy, while others open the abyss of inner turmoil. For instance, when facing criticism from colleagues over a failed project, let Epictetus's advice inspire you to find comfort. 
do not allow such criticisms to disrupt your life or mood. Take a step back, accept feedback from authors, and use it as a tool to enhance work performance. By doing so, you will maintain peace of mind and control in your work environment. It is crucial to recognize that each of us has the right and ability to shape our own lives. Do not let the judgments or expectations of others become barriers on your chosen path. Instead, focus on building inner strength through self-control, self-improvement and continuous learning. When you master control of your life, nothing can prevent you from achieving true happiness and success. Comment. I take control of my own life if you draw a lesson about taking control of your life. Principle 5. Do not hate those who hate you. Life is a collection of opposing extremes. Where there are tall, there are short. Where there are clever, there are dull. Where there are those who love you wholeheartedly, there are those who despise you openly. Therefore, whether we like it or not, we must acquaint ourselves with and balance these opposites. Epictetus guides us to an important lesson in balancing these opposites. Do not hate those who hate you. When we choose not to respond to hatred with hatred, we expand our hearts, embracing the power of tolerance and compassion. This does not signify weakness or surrender. Rather, it is an expression of inner strength and profound self-control. By maintaining composure amidst turmoil, we not only shield ourselves from undue harm, but also find a noble path to transcend it. This principle conveys a message that happiness and peace are not external pursuits, but rather creations from within, born out of how we choose to respond to the world around us. When we refuse to invest time in harboring resentments, we not only free ourselves from the burden of grudges, but also open up opportunities to love and appreciate the true essence of life. Principle 6. Incorporate humility into your life. Integrate humility into your life, not as a burden, but as a liberation. It's where you can shed the weight of personal ego, allowing yourself to tread lightly and freely. Epictetus deeply grasped the vastness of the universe and our humble position within it. It's the understanding that our knowledge is limited, our achievements fleeting, and control often illusory. By embracing humility, you're aligning yourself with a core tenet of Stoicism, focusing on what's within your control. You control how you treat others, how you respond to life's challenges, and how you contribute to the world. A humble approach allows you to concentrate on these areas with clarity and purpose, free from distractions of the need for competition or self-aggrandizement. Understand that humility doesn't mean undervaluing yourself it's about not always placing yourself at the center of every issue. It's a vital tool for growth, encouraging you to learn from every situation with a gracious attitude and to radiate goodwill and understanding to others. So, leave a comment. I embrace humility in my life to let us know you're ready to apply principle number six to your life. Principle 7. Friendship is above wealth. 
Wealth is truly not accumulated through the accumulation of material possessions, but nurtured within the warmth of sincere relationships. Unlike material wealth, friendship provides a haven of support, understanding, and mutual respect that remains steadfast amidst life's fluctuations. It is within the moments shared with friends that we find the richest and most purposeful life. The bonds of friendship provide a foundation of strength and resilience, enabling us to face life's challenges with courage and grace. They remind us that true contentment lies not in what we have, but in whom we share our lives with. When prioritizing friendship over possessions, we embrace a life of depth and fulfillment. We come to realize that the greatest treasures are not found in bank accounts, but in the love and companionship of those we hold dear. This principle encourages us to cherish and cultivate our relationships because ultimately, the quality of our connections truly defines our wealth. Principle 8. Always fulfill your duty. At the hospital, while everyone is immersed in sleep, doctors are tirelessly attending to patients' bedsides. Despite extreme physical exhaustion, the passion and responsibility towards their profession urge doctors to continue their work. This action not only reflects a tireless sense of responsibility, but also embodies a stoic philosophy, exemplified by principle number eight, always fulfill your duties. The duties of individuals may vary depending on their roles in family, work, and society. However, the essence of fulfilling duties remains the same. We must act not only for personal gain, but also for the common good. This requires a balance between personal freedom and social responsibility, a balance that Epictetus regarded as the core of a happy and meaningful life. When we fulfill our duties, we not only create value for ourselves and those around us, but also develop a sense of self-worth and honor. This provides an endless source of motivation for life, making us feel part of something greater, a part of the continuous process of development and improvement. Remember, Within every duty lies an opportunity for us to demonstrate our best qualities and contribute to the collective progress of society. Principle 9. Always expect the worst. Expecting the worst is not an expression of pessimism, but a strategy to build inner strength and achieve spiritual freedom. When we know we can face and overcome any challenge, every moment of life becomes valuable and meaningful. By mentally preparing for the worst-case scenarios, we become resilient in the face of life's ups and downs. This not only helps us maintain our spirits in difficult times, but also enables us to appreciate and enjoy every happy moment life offers. In light of this acceptance, every challenge becomes a stepping stone for growth, and every difficulty is an opportunity for maturity. Always expect the worst is not advice to live in fear, but to live with confidence and tranquility. By accepting that anything can happen, we are no longer imprisoned by fear of the future. Instead, we learn to embrace each day with gratitude, ready to face any situation with a strong spirit and unwavering belief. We want to express our gratitude and congratulations to you 
for reaching halfway through today's video. Your continued presence here shows that you're fully prepared for this journey. Now, let's shift your focus to the remaining nine principles. Principle 10. Remember that death is waiting at the end of the road. I don't invite you to pessimism, but instead, I lead you to the awakening that understand that death is the ultimate destination of all our actions and efforts. Returning to the scenario at the beginning when you spent a lifetime building a dream home, a place that holds your love, memories, and dreams. But one day, an unexpected natural disaster, a strong earthquake, a big storm, or a flood, swept everything away. The house you built with all your heart was completely destroyed. Heartache is inevitable, but through it, you realize that the most precious things are not material, but memories, love, and connections with loved ones. This event also reminds you that life is about creating memories, not building walls. Let death encourage you to live every day with the awareness that nothing is permanent and every moment is precious. Don't let the fear of death stop you from expressing love, pursuing passions, and contributing to the world. See it as a reminder to live fully, with gratitude, passion, and purpose. Are you afraid of facing death? What are your thoughts on death? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section of this video. Principle 11. Always extract the benefit from things. Imagine, if you will, experiencing the situation of being betrayed by a close friend of 10 years. How would you feel at that moment? Betrayal is one of the greatest challenges to our trust and spirit, but it also provides a valuable opportunity for reflection, learning, and resilience. In such a situation, seeking benefit is not just a mental exercise, but also a healing process. You start by acknowledging the pain and betrayal recognizing that it's part of the human experience? Then you ask yourself, what can I learn from this? The answers may include recognizing the value of self-confidence, the importance of setting boundaries in relationships, or discovering your resilience and capacity for forgiveness. Through every experience, we have the opportunity to learn and grow. When you approach each situation as a lesson, you not only overcome it, but also become stronger and wiser. That's how you turn pain and betrayal into motivation for personal and spiritual growth. Principle 12. Be aware of the dangers of fortune. In life, luck and fortune are often seen as sweet rewards, but they also carry the shadow of uncertainty and risk. Epictetus cleverly emphasized that the true essence of happiness does not lie in material possessions that can be measured by wealth or status. He taught us that true luck is not what we happen to stumble upon, but rather the ability to maintain composure and spirit in the face of any adversity. The key to living a life independent of luck is nurturing a steadfast soul, unshaken by the storms of life. True wealth does not come from what you own, but from inner contentment and peace. Clear awareness of the pitfalls of fortune and luck will guide us to a meaningful life where happiness is not dependent on external factors, 
but on a profound understanding of self-worth and the surrounding world. Principle 13. Listen twice as much as you speak. Epictetus once said, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This quote emphasizes that by listening more than speaking, we open the door to receiving knowledge, understanding, and empathy from others. Every story and every opinion can be a valuable lesson helping us build a solid foundation for personal growth. Listening not only helps us become better friends, leaders, and colleagues, but also shows our respect and care for others. Furthermore, listening is considered an integral part of self-cultivation. It not only helps us avoid misunderstandings and unnecessary conflicts, but also opens up opportunities for us to learn from different experiences and perspectives. In this way, we not only develop our knowledge and skills, but also contribute to a stronger and more empathetic community. Please like and share this video if you have learned the lesson of listening more than speaking in life. Principle 14. Do not cling to a single hope. The diversity of life is a gift, and expanding our hearts and souls to embrace various possibilities not only enriches our lives, but also helps us avoid profound disappointments if that goal is not achieved. When we invest all our hope in a single dream, failure becomes not just a risk, but can also become a heavy burden, challenging our spirit and resilience. This doesn't mean we shouldn't pursue passions or goals, but it serves as a reminder to maintain a flexible spirit, ready to accept and seek happiness in various forms. By embracing diversity in life and not confining ourselves to a single expectation, we open the door to true freedom, the freedom to explore, the freedom to fail without losing ourselves. Life with all its richness and diversity invites us to experience every moment. Whatever happens, we can overcome and find meaning in each step of our journey. Principle 15. Make alliances with winning people. The ancients used to say, you will be like the five closest friends of yours. This not only reflects the truth about the influence that social environments can have on us, but also serves as a smart strategy to improve the quality of our own lives. When we associate with people who have achieved success, we not only learn from their experiences and knowledge, but also gain additional motivation to overcome challenges and achieve our goals. Contact with those who have a winning spirit helps us broaden our horizons, strengthen our inner power, and develop an ever-evolving mindset toward excellence. However, building relationships with winners is not just about receiving, but also about giving a truly strong and sustainable relationship is based on mutual support, sharing knowledge, experience, and mutual development. We not only seek support from winners, but also must be willing to contribute to their success. It's a balance and interaction where both parties progress together and rise together. Principle 16. True wealth lies in a contented spirit. In a world constantly chasing after material possessions, money, assets and social status, 
Principle number 16 offers a fresh perspective that true treasure lies not in wealth, but in what lies within the soul. A contented soul is like an unshakable fortress. It stands firm against the storms of life. We find peace and contentment not in external possessions, but in the state of harmony and acceptance within. Practically applying this principle to life means shifting our focus from what we lack to appreciating what we have. It involves finding joy in the simplicity of life, fostering deep relationships with others, and pursuing personal growth and excellence through self-improvement. By nurturing a contented soul, we not only enrich our own lives, but also inspire those around us to reconsider the true meaning of wealth. As Epictetus reminded us, our control lies not external to us, but within our perceptions, judgments, and values we choose to live by. Therefore, the wealthiest individuals are not those who have the most, but those who need the least. Do you know another Epictetus quote related to this principle? Share it in the comments below this video for us to know. Principle 17. Stop worrying about what is out of your control. One way to better understand this principle is to imagine that our lives are like a journey on a ship in the vast sea. While we can control the course of the ship by steering, we cannot control the weather, the big waves, or the strong winds. Instead, we can only prepare as best as we can, and then accept the things we cannot change, focusing on controlling our reactions and approaches to unwanted situations. When we stop worrying about things we cannot control, we free ourselves from the burden of stress and anxiety. We become freer to focus on what we can do and the decisions we can make. This not only helps us live a more peaceful life, but also makes us stronger in facing challenges and difficulties. So, remember that in life, we cannot control everything around us. However, we can control our approach and reaction to those situations. Therefore, stop worrying about things beyond our control and focus on what we can do to live a more meaningful and happy life. Principle 18. Guilt is synonymous with the plague. In a world where narrow-minded individuals often blame others, ordinary people tend to harbor feelings of guilt, while the wise recognize that blaming is futile. The philosopher Epictetus left a profound statement that has prompted modern psychologists to re-examine our views on guilt. They regard guilt not as an inherent weakness, but as an emotion that can be overcome. In this shift, true victory over guilt lies in refusing to engage in its game. However, the challenge lies in the allure of the easy path. When we blame others or ourselves, we easily avoid taking responsibility to rectify our mistakes. This temptation is a formidable challenge. Nevertheless, there are those driven by a determined resolve to overcome guilt. They not only resist temptation, but also accept responsibility for their actions. These individuals demonstrate that they can navigate life's challenges with wisdom and sincerity. In the challenging journey of life, 
we often feel engulfed by unforeseen storms. But remember, true strength does not lie in pretending not to care, but in the ability to turn those storms into opportunities, just as Epictetus's 18 principles have taught us. Let these profound principles penetrate your soul, from facing failures to living simply and modestly. Understand that in any situation, we have the power to control our reactions. If these words have touched your heart, please leave a like, a comment, or share your thoughts to spread these rays of Stoic philosophy further within the community. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on profound and inspiring shares in the future. Thank you for always accompanying and sharing your beliefs with us. Let's together create a world full of positivity with the power from within.